down this way. I'm positive of it. Hey, I have to tell you, I am so impressed with your German. Hmm. How come I never knew this about you? Was it something that you learned in uh, your secret agent FBI training? Mrs. Polanski. Who's Mrs. Polanski? Mrs. Polanski was the hottest teacher I had in my freshman year of college. Was that all she taught you? I don't want to know. You know, when I was growing up, me and Frank, we learned all the four-letter words in every language. Yeah. That's how far I thought I was getting from Springfield. <laughs> oh, honey, I forgot this was your first time in Europe. Let me tell you something right now, okay? This is from my heart. Next time we go, it's a vacation. It has nothing to do with me, honey, okay? It's all right. I understand. I'm just, I'm just joking to calm you down, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to get to the bottom of this, okay? Maybe not today. No, yes, today and today. And if he doesn't help us out, this Roy Baker, you're going to have to dust off some of those curse words. We'll be lucky if he understands it in English. I'm sorry. I know that sounds crass. Hey, you know, he managed to write Gina's name on a piece of paper before they carted him off on the plane. Yeah, I know. This has got to work, baby. He's the only one that knows about my folks. I'm not leaving here until I know everything that he knows. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good night. There you go. Have a good night. Thanks. Well, did uh, everybody decide to eat anywhere else tonight but here? Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you cut out early? Are you serious? Wait, this isn't some sort of weird Cooper work ethic test, is it? You know... No, just go. And don't make me regret it. I have to call Ben. Oh, hey. no, I'm regretting it already. Oh, oh it ben. just gets better and better. Hey. Yay, you have perfect timing. We're practically psychic friends. Oh. I was just about to call oh. you. The powers that be are too busy with Olivia's arraignment, so they let me out of the factory early. Ah, well, my master let me out, too. Mm. You know what this means, don't you? What? We were meant to spend tonight together. Oh, that sounds great, but I... I don't know if my new boss is gonna be okay with that. He's handsome, sexy, smart, everything you could possibly want, and more. Trust me, Mrs. Hendon, I think you will be very pleased. His name is Ben. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I look for you, actually. Um, what time do you get off? You got time to have a cocktail? Uh, I'm sorry, buddy, I can't. I'm buying. You said the magic words, but I still can't. I got you tonight, and your son's sleeping over, remember? Mm. Wait a minute. Olivia's arraignment was today, wasn't it? Yeah. Hence the need for the drink. How bad? How bad is it? <sighs> Listen, I, I need you to be straight with me. That's okay. okay. Like, you could stop me. All right, all right. Um, <clears throat> but if you if you found evidence that somebody that you knew, um, somebody you cared about, all right, say Mel, had done something like this, would you do anything about it, or would you just forget it ever happened? Wait a minute. You found proof that Olivia is the person who's been stalking Reva. Philip, I know you think that you're in love with her, and there's a chance that she may be carrying her child, but there's a chance that she's doing this? Protecting her would be a huge mistake. Home, sweet home. This is not my home. Well, it's better than the alternative. Yes. Yes. Right. I'm going to check with Nolan, make certain that your room is ready. Thank you. Where is that damn lipstick? You're going to be in the room right next to mine. Oh, you know, I, I, I am grateful that you got me out of jail and everything, but I don't think it's wise that we have slumber parties just yet. <laughs> don't worry, Olivia. That chance you and I will become best friends, my dear. I just want you to be in a room far enough away from Alan and still be in the house. Then what the hell is she doing in this house? How could you bring her back 
to this house, What's Alexandra. What's the matter, Alan? You afraid to talk to me directly? All right, Alan, I want you to calm down. Now, are you sure you didn't, don't need to take one of the pills? I don't need a pill. I need her out of this house. I thought th that you were locked up. Oh, well, it looks like things don't always go the way you plan, eh, Alan? Uh, why don't you ask your sister here why I'm here? Well? She's pregnant, Alan. Uh, all right, it was one of the conditions of her bail. You posted oh. bail, Alexandra? Uh, what? Uh, Alan, if you were thinking at all straight, you would have done exactly the same thing. I mean, someone's got to take care of this child. Yes, obviously Olivia's not up to the task. Hey, you know what? I can go another ten rounds with you if you'd like. I have to be in this house with you for the time being. Other than that, we have nothing in common. Nothing in common? That's my baby that you happen to be carrying. Maybe not. That's enough, Olivia. You shouldn't get upset. You know what? I think it's time we got all of this out in the open. Get what out in the open? I slept with Philip just after you switched my birth control pills. Philip could be this baby's father. You have some new night job. Now you're going to have to be working 24-7. Oh, please. You know me better than what that. What is it, then? Well... Let's just say that I'm one step closer to being that rich guy you fell in love with. You know, that stuff doesn't matter to me. Not that much. Yeah, well, look, it matters to me, all right? You know, when I lost my trust fund, I lost a whole lot more than just but, money. But ben, that is so not true, and you know it. Whatever happened to this whole Spalding thing? I mean, I thought between Big Papa Allen and Alexander the Great, your future was pretty much in the can. More like in the toilet. Yeah, wasn't Alan starting to think of you as, like, his long-lost son? Yeah, but apparently in the Spalding family, that's not necessarily a good thing. You know, if it weren't for me, he would still be on an extended three-hour tour of Mystic Island. But what do I get? The satisfaction of knowing that I rescued him. And a box of chocolates. Ooh, you got chocolates? Ooh, wait, are those those really nice ones? Because I got to tell you, I am becoming, like, a really big fan of those dark chocolate-covered cherries with, with not really the point. No, yeah, not so much. No, okay. I mean, they just don't get me, you know? I'm like... I'm like a glorified copy boy slash errand boy. You know, it's... This new job, it's gonna be different. I mean, respect and money. Instant gratification. Details. Look, I don't have all the details just yet, all right? But it sounds like something I can do, something that's based on who I am, rather than how well I operate a copy machine. Look, I don't want to jinx it, all right? All you need to know is that I'm getting it all back. All that I lost. I promise you. Then you will. I'll call you later. Okay, good, because you owe me dinner and a movie. I owe you a whole lot more than that. There are gifts in your future. Oh. Well, good luck. I hope you get what you want. I already have what I want. Bye. 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 Oh, well, he is so smooth. What is that supposed to mean? What kind of job do you get? What kind of job when you don't know what you have to do and what you're going to get paid? I don't know, like International Man of Mystery, oh. 007, if you ask me. It sounds pretty exciting. Well, if you're all right with the mystery, so am I. I am. I'm all right with it. I'm fine with it because I believe in Ben. End of story, okay? Okay. Roy. Roy. Roy, I know that you're in there somewhere. Yeah, because you're too much of a jerk to go quietly. Was Max to da? He wants to know what we're doing here. Yeah, thanks. I got that. Uh, me, niece. Roy, uncle. Roy, uncle Roy. He doesn't speak Tarzan, okay? Um. <clears throat> Check out the chair. Crossword puzzle. Yeah, will you take a little tour? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wir werden das Wetter morgen. Sonic. Oh. What does that mean? What did he say? Uh, he understands. 
understands I'm trying to buy some time, okay? Mm -hmm. um, try to get him out of here. Um, Wer ist dein Lieblingssänger? <laughs> David Hasselhofer. Did he just say David Hasselhoff? Didn't that sound like David Hasselhoff? No, no, that is German for he understands what I am saying. But didn't it sound like it? I mean, maybe that's why the guy's so popular yeah, no, here. No, no, we're getting somewhere now, okay? I'm gonna get him out of here so I can tell him I want to talk to my family member. Okay. okay um, mein uh, freier Freundin möchte er vorkommen. or you can't move because you got a lot of explaining to do. You can start with this crossword puzzle. Or you can stop with the, the games now and you're going to start with the truth and you're going to tell me everything about my parents. All right, Roy. Are you sure you want to play this the hard way? Glad they gave you a room with a view. I don't think you want to play this the hard way, Roy. You're my, my father's partner. You didn't have any family of your own. We had a dinner place setting for you every single night that my mother put there for you. Roy. Roy! When my parents were dead, you were the guy that I called. If I ever did anything worthy of talking about, even you were the guy, because you were the only man on this planet that knew my parents the way that I knew them when they were alive. Humanity, man. You're sent. <laughs> it's really about self preservation for you, isn't it? <laughs> it's a beautiful countryside. It's a shame you're in that chair and you can't enjoy it. Is worth a thousand, thousand words, isn't it, Roy? Huh? Come on, Roy! Come on! What do you think of the view? Huh? You're lying, Olivia. Just like you lied to me about our baby being no, dead. No, Alan, it's true. Philip and I made love before the divorce, yes, but after you play Russian roulette with my birth enough, control enough, pills. Enough, 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 enough. Listen, this can't be that much of a shock to you, Alan. Surely you've considered the possibility. Oh, I know that she wanted to punish me. Philip wants to punish me. He will do anything to hurt me. But no, I don't think this happened. He wouldn't cross that line, and neither would you. It was it about you. Philip told me that he loved me, and I love him. That's why we made love. Olivia, you are my wife. We pledged our oh, love to each other. Don't even with... talk to me about pledges and love and vows. Those are things you know nothing about. And you do? He's my son. How could you? Oh, you know it's wrong. It was all wrong. It was wrong to marry you in the first place, knowing I had feelings for him. But you had heart attacks, two of them, and I bought it. And then you decided that we were going to have a family. 
family, and you got me pregnant against my will! Everything I did, I did for you, for us. Now, perhaps it wasn't always honorable, but you're pregnant, and you want that child, so everything I did was hey. right. Hey, what the hell is going on? He knows. All right. He knows well, about us because I told him. I told him everything. I want you all to stop this right now. Your father shouldn't be agitated. Neither should Olivia. <laughs> Philip, always the protector. And I will protect her and the child that she's carrying. Against me? If necessary. You know, you are a pathetic excuse for a son, Philip. You see what your revenge against me has cost us? No, it wasn't about you. Of course it was about me. But the only thing that you two have in common is your hate against me. All right, come on, that's enough. Yeah, come in, come out here. Come out here, for God's sake. Alan! Have you lost your mind? I want you to calm down before you absolutely kill yourself. I am. I am not going to kill myself. I have these two victims in mind right now. No, you hush. You hush. Look at you. You are beat red. Your heart's racing a mile a minute. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of dying. No, 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 no. And you can keep your medication. No. You calm down. You calm down. You can only make things worse. We can handle this mess later. If you go in there right now, it's going to make things Okay, okay, okay. I'll take these pills, <laughs> but this isn't over by a long shot, Alexandra. It was time. It was time he knew the truth about everything. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just made him angrier than ever. As if you didn't already have enough reason to frame me. Don't worry about that right now. Don't worry about anything right now, because I promise you, I'll take care of everything. did just now throw me off this balcony like that that homicidal look in your eye the look of a criminal who do anything you had to do to get what you wanted it reminded me of your father Joe August was not a criminal he wasn't a criminal Dinner, movie, you pick. You feel bad for me because Ben ditched me. Did I say that? It was implied. And oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm getting something else. I think, oh, you hate seeing me cooped up in here like this, waiting for Ben when there are like a million other guys out there. At least a million. I don't want any other guys. You don't? No. No other guys? No. Not Cary Grant? No. Hey, Shane. Hey. Hey, bus. Hey. How's your mom? Uh, she's hanging in there. And you Thanks. know what? Bad timing, Shane, because we were actually just closing. Sorry. I should have flipped the sign yet, so you can't turn me away. He has a point. Well, I'm not firing up the grill. Uh, Shane, I just sweep the floor. Uh, Pitching mound sorry. dirt is always welcome here. That baseball cap does not grant you the right to track in a bunch of dirt. What is with this costume, anyway? I thought you, like, only played lacrosse. And I thought you listened to me when I talked to you. I've only been playing baseball all my life, but hey, no big deal. Oh, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. High school baseball. And that would be, uh, what exactly, other than a line on your college applications? Speaking of college applications. Hey. So have you heard anything I've said to you in the last two years? Yeah, of course, hmm? of course. I hang on your every word. I think my only regret is that I didn't try out for the cheerleading squad. That way I could have cheered you on in all your glory. Hmm. Baseball doesn't have cheerleaders. Yeah, I, I, I realized that. Thank you. I was... I was <laughs> What, what do you want? 
What do you mean? To eat. What do you want to eat? You came in here for food, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. How about a hamburger with no bun and some milk, skim milk, and some of those curly fries? Mm. You know, if you're having the fries, you may as well have the bun. No, the fries are for you. You always eat mine. I do not. Shane thinks he's a big leaguer. It's cute, right? Real cute. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't say that if you'd seen him throw. You must be kidding. I, you know who he is? You go to the same school, don't you? I know. I hardly ever see him, though. He's really good, huh? Good? Well, he, he had a great record last year. Uh, but, you know, the offseason has been very good to me. He's bigger, stronger, faster. I mean, he's just, he's the, you know, stuff that baseball dreams are made of. Really? He can throw heat? Uh, 95 miles an hour. What kind of stuff's he got? Two seam, four seam, fastball, wicked changeup, and a sweeping curveball that'd make a grown man weep. I'm telling you, it's not just a pass into the girls' locker room. It's a ticket out of town for this guy. They had major league scouts scouting him out in the preseason. There's gonna be more to follow. I mean, unless I miss my guess, he's gonna be in the major leagues before he has his first legal drink. Shane and Lewis, big time. Huh? Yeah, well, good for him. Who knew? Perfect. Hot but subtle. All right, so I pass inspection. No, because I was going to wear a tux. I don't know if that would... Oh, no, no, no. That would be too much. This is perfect. Hey, you know, I probably should have asked you this before I signed on, but um, who, who's the client? One of many. Mm hmm And what exactly do you provide them with? Happiness. Interesting. <laughs> and the rest later. What do you mean later? After you make Mrs. Hendon a very happy woman. Mrs. Hendon? See that beautiful woman at the door? Yeah. That's your date for this evening. Yeah, well, um, thanks for standing up for me. Well, we're in this together. Hey. I know how stressful. Crazy and confusing these last few months have been for you. And I listen, I know what it's like to want to take revenge, you know, to go after something with, with a such a fury that you that you start to lose yourself a little bit. I know what that's like. I'm not gonna go after Alan. I told you I'm done with him. You have to worry. That's not what I'm talking about. Then what? Don't say anything yet. I know that this is the color that was used to write on the wall at Rivas, and I know it's a shade that you said you've never used. I know that you lied to me because you felt like you had to, because you were afraid. What I'm telling you is that you don't have to be afraid because I will stand by you and I will help you. You think I'm Rivas' stalker? I don't know what to think. No, you're the one who's lying. Olivia, I just want to help you. Yeah, well, there's something you can do for me. Tell me. You can go to hell. Olivia? No, I lied. I lied about the lipstick, okay? I don't know why I did it. Maybe it was an impulse. I have so many strikes against me already, but that doesn't mean that I'm the stalker. Hey, I have been on your side all the way through this. Until I lied to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a history of people not believing me even when I tell the truth. 
I fell back on my instincts. I felt like my back was up against the wall, okay? But I guess I wasn't completely wrong because here you are ready to lock me up and throw oh, hey, away what, the no, key. Lock, I don't want you locked up. No, I want you out here. Because of the baby, I know. No. That's only one reason. Look, I just... I thought you were, the, you were the one person in this town who wasn't against me. I'm not against Why you. I'm on your side. Why on Reva now? Isn't that taking a woman's scorn to all new levels? Oh. But I guess I have it coming, considering all the stupid things I've done. I've messed a lot of things up. And I know I've ruined any chance that we might have together, but the one thing I didn't want to lose in all of this was the belief that you know me. I didn't do the things that I'm accused of, Philip. I'm not Reva Stalker. I thought you said the girl was off for the night. Yeah, well, my grandfather happened to think you're the second coming to baseball, so, you know, he decided to fire it up for you. Oh, by the way, he wants tickets to the World Series 2008 or whenever it may be that you make your big score. He's got them. So, you really got some juice in that arm? <laughs> Come on. What? what you, you're trying to talk baseball with me now? You don't know baseball. Oh, believe me, Shane Lewis, I know baseball. I mean, it's cool. You know plenty of other things. What other things exactly do I know? Uh, Ben, Ben, Ben... Oh, and, uh, Ben. I have other interests. I mean, you know what? You've got a great voice. I think, I mean, you're really gonna win, like, a million Grammys one day. You really think I have a good voice? Yeah. See, but then you're gonna probably get married a million times like J-Lo. Uh -huh. And you're gonna forget all about your first husband, Ben. All right, you know what? Back to baseball, because I seriously do know it. I don't know. Watching the rookie four times doesn't count. It was three times. Dennis Quaid is really hot for an old guy. Anyway, you don't believe me? Ask me anything you want. <clears throat> okay. Uh, infield fly rule. What is it? That is too easy. It's when you got less than two outs. You got runners on first and second. It's a force play. Umpire signals an infield fly ball is ruled catchable by an infielder. Batter's out of there, and the runners can advance their own <laughs> risk. Oh, and uh, <sighs> bunts and line drives don't count. Uh, How's that? That's pretty scary, mm -hmm. but in a good way. I mean, how do you know yeah, baseball? My how dad do you know this? used to you... take me to Cubs games when I was a little kid. Then when my mom decided to ruin our happy family and whisk us away to California, I really miss my dad, and I don't know, I would never miss a Cubs game. I even would check the sports section of the paper because I knew my dad was doing the same thing. I just... I guess it made me feel like he wasn't that far away. And to this day, even when my family can't agree on anything. At least there's one place where we're all on the same team. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I mean, me and my dad, we have our baseball moments, too, but it's nothing like that. All right. You know what? This is getting a little too mushy for me. We are officially a few lines shy of a greeting card. So, <laughs> let's see it. Let's see what? What are you Your talking about? Your pitch emotion. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Pretty amazing. How much of this puzzle you managed to put together on your own? Your real birth mother, Gina, she did die in childbirth. Joe and Angela, they were trying to have kids, but it just wasn't happening. So Joe decided to bring you home and raise you as his own. From the moment you were born, Joe spent the rest of his life covering up the truth. Why? He was protecting you. Protecting me from what? Because your real father was Miguel Santos. Oh, my God. Are you okay with this? Well, if you break anything, it comes out of her paycheck. All right, quit stalling, Lewis. Let's play ball. Come on, let's do this right. Uh, 
Hey. I'll catch. You're not chicken, are you? <clears throat> so what are the stakes? I get the satisfaction of beating you. No, no, I can't play unless something's on the line. Oh, all right. Next thing you're going to tell me you got lucky socks. You do, don't you? Okay, stakes. Stakes, 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 stakes. All right, you got to buy me two tickets opening day of the Cubbies. Done. Get ready to lose. Oh, I don't lose. <laughs> <clears throat> A yes, little yes. grace and victory. Come oh, on. are you kidding me? Grace is for losers, and, uh, that would be you, Shane. Yeah, but you know what? I still get to go to the game with you, so I still think I'm the winner. No way. I'm taking Ben. To the victor goes the spoils. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know what happened to me back there. I mean, I usually have more control than that. Yeah, no kidding. You were, like, all over the place. You know what used to really help me? I used to picture the ball as being the head of someone that I, like, really, really hated. And then I could, I could just hit. I guess it doesn't really work for pitching, though, does it? And, well, you're, like, the nicest guy ever, so you probably don't hate anyone. This is pitching, not hitting, remember? I know, I know. I'm just trying to help you out because you're the next Mickey Mantle or whatever. Okay, new bet. I already won. No, but this time I'm going to throw in for programs, cotton candy, pretzels, hot dogs, I mean, the works. Mm -hmm. For you and for Ben. Oh. All right, Lewis, you're on. Let's play ball, Grandpa. Grab a bun. from American Gigolo, because I hear it, okay? <laughs> well, unlike the movie, your business with Mrs. Hendon ends at the door of her hotel suite. Uh, I don't know about this. Is this about your little girlfriend? Don't call her that. This has nothing to do with Marina. This is work, nothing more. It's fantasy. For a couple of hours, you get to be everything that this woman doesn't have in her life. And you get to do everything that her husband won't do. And what is that exactly? But wait a minute, she is married? Very. Maybe even happily. So what does she need me for? Someone that doesn't complain about going to the opera. Someone who's smart and will listen to her. All right, and that is all, right? You get to be the man of somebody's dreams, even if it is for a few hours. I mean, how often do you get to do that in life? A lot, actually. And I bet Marina likes nice things. Likes to go to nice places. Think about it, Ben. I can think of a thousand reasons you should do this. A thousand, huh? <laughs> okay, all right, I'm in. But just for this opera. That's all I'm asking you to do. Mrs. Hendon. Hi, I'm Ben. Oh, please, call me Ramona. Oh, Ramona then. <laughs> well, shall we? What's going on? What, what are you feeling right now? Okay, I, I know how this must be for you. No, I don't. I don't know how this must be for you. Finding out that you're a Santos when you paid these people your whole life. Unreal? Surreal? I, it, it's gonna be okay, okay? You, you, you and Danny have come so far, right? So when we get back, you can talk to him. You can tell him. I'm not him. telling him he anything, can... okay? I'm not telling him anything because what he said is, it's a lie. I'm not Miguel Santos, son. I'm gonna prove it. 
It's time to go home. Like it was the first time anyone has ever said that to me and i just i thought to myself this is the way it's supposed to be you know this is what people talk about and this is what they die to have and i know that that's changed i i know i know i messed things up i just you said that you could see me that you could see into me and as frightening as that is for me you can so you have to know that I didn't do this. I have the whole world stacked up against me right now, Philip. And I can handle other people, you know. I, I, can, I can take them, but I, I can't handle fighting you right now. Okay. I'm sorry. I believe you. I'm going to prove that I'm innocent. All right. How? I'm going to find the person who's guilty. And I think I know who that is. Your father. This has been Guiding Light. 